Hey guys, how's it going? It's Andy from Magoo Investing. It's been a while since I've made a video. I've just kind of been burnt out, focusing on other things, and I've been working a lot. So today I'm going to be talking about how I'm personally planning to protect myself if the market goes south from here. And so there's a lot of different things you can do if you think the market's going to go south, but some of them are better than others. So one of the first things you need to take a look at is where your money's sitting. And so I currently have about half of my money sitting in long-term stuff and acorns, and then the rest is in my shorter-term investments in Robinhood. And while I'm pretty confident that the market's going to be going a little further south, uh, you really have no idea. And so the long-term investments that I have in acorns are just going to stay there. I'm probably not going to be touching those for three to five years, so I'm just going to kind of ride this out if things do go down. And with the Robinhood stuff, I am more vulnerable than I am in the Acorn stuff. And the main reason that, with that is that I'm trading triple leveraged ETFs. So if the stock market falls 20%, which would make it a bear market, uh, I'd be down 60% on those investments. And so I'm going to try to protect myself with that. And that's why I think I talked in my stock portfolio video, uh, I'm going to go 50-50 on my longs and shorts of the stock market. The reason that I'm doing that is if the market goes up, I'll be making money with my long-term investments in Acorn. But if it goes down, I'm going to be pretty much even on my short-term investments and the long-term stuff doesn't really matter because I'm going to be holding on to that for a while. And so the reason I'm doing that is I'd rather be uh, even than lose a bunch of percent. And so if the market goes up, I'll be making money in my Acorns account. And if the market goes down, I'm going to be breaking even on my short-term stuff and just going down with the market on my long-term investments. So you could pretty much just kind of call this a holding pattern for me right now. I'm not really... Uh, taking a position in the market. If it goes up, great. Uh, I won't be making as much money as I would have been if I had uh, just long positions, but I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens. Uh, it's going to take some more news events, some bad things happening for the market to really go south, and until the market kind of picks a direction, I'm going to be staying in this holding pattern. And with the market being as volatile as it's been, it's we've had more 1% uh, gains and losses in the past couple weeks than we've had in the past couple months. And so when the market's super choppy like this, I'm just going to kind of stand back, watch, try to learn some more before taking a longer position. Uh, I really don't know which way the stock market's going to be going, but I'm protecting myself in case things do go south because I'd rather be break even than lose 60% if the market goes down into a bear market. So overall, if you have uh, volatile short-term investments, I'd recommend kind of scaling those back at this point. I do think the market's going to be going further south. All it takes is some news event, Trump tweets something about the trade wars, and the stock market's going to fall, as we've seen in the past couple weeks. And so if you have short-term investments, I'd recommend scaling those out. Uh, maybe protect yourself with some shorts, uh, shorting the market in case things do go down, you won't lose as much as uh, you would normally. And with your long-term investments, I'd recommend just kind of staying put with those. Uh, there's no point really moving out of those 20% um, on a long-term investment. If you're going to be holding that for years, it's not really going to matter that much. Uh, we know that uh, over the long run, the stock market does go up and just kind of a downturn in the market isn't a big deal with long-term stuff. With the short-term stuff, it is kind of a bigger deal because you're going to be losing more. And so that's why I'm protecting myself on the short-term side and just kind of riding along on the long-term side. So let me know if you think that the market's going to be falling further. And if so, what you're doing with your stocks, your portfolio. And I will see you guys in the next video.